Well, that was a movie. <laughs> Shh, Jason doesn't talk. I'm not supposed to talk. We talked and Jason goes to hell. You talked in the Rob Zombie remake. That was Michael. That was Michael. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> oh, God. After the Rob Zombie remake, I, I honestly turn to you and I'm like, I just really hope this one's bland and generic. I can handle a generic slasher. <laughs> <laughs> this was... So, this is the uh, remake of... Remake? It's, it's a soft boot of Friday the 13th. Yeah, uh, it, it almost seemed like one of those remakewals. Where, like, it's in the same continuity, but it's also just sort of a reboot of the series. Which is pretty much most of the Friday the 13th series so far, so... <laughs> well, okay, fair. Um, anywho... You can't, like... What? It's... I, okay, I guess it's just that the cover is really dark. You can barely see that in the camera. Maybe I should turn up the exposure a little. Hey, good job, Post Matt. Uh, so guess who had a producer credit on this movie? No, seriously, guess. Michael, Michael Bay. Bay. Who? Who thought Michael Bay was a good idea to put in a horror franchise? Of course he wasn't directing, but he has his fingerprints all over it. I mean, this is... He also produced the Texas Chainsaw remake. The first Texas Chainsaw remake. Ugh. This is like three or four Texas Chainsaw remakes, which is just ridiculous. It's too many. It's too many for any franchise. Yeah. Anywho, the, this has the excessive gore, and it and it has the excessive boobs, which, you know, that's been kind of a staple of the Friday the 13th franchise for, you know, since its inception. But, like, this is turned up to 11. Yeah, it feels like it was very much inspired by the Rob Zombie Halloween and how it just cranked everything way up. Except the characters in this are just boring. They're yeah. not pieces of shit. Which is nice. Which I is mean, nice. I can't exactly identify with them, but I can... But I don't hate them. Hey, if I can come out of a movie theater and say I, abs I didn't hate some of the characters, that's a win in my book, right? Wow. I mean, I, three of the male leads in this film look identical. So it's not like they just, uh... Okay, I scoot. I scoot. So, okay, we're back. We just had to cut for a second. Um, it's, all of the male leads look exactly the same. And, um... It's not like they wear the same clothes. They no, are, they, they are... They have, like, this exact same haircut, the, exact same hair color. What's his face who played Anakin in the, in the Star Wars prequel? They have that haircut, tipped a little bit shorter. Yeah, it's, it's this very, honestly, kind of early 2000s haircut. Mm -hmm. This is, like, surfer bro haircut. Yeah. All three of them have it. And in, like, the first scene, they're cutting between these three characters, and it took me a little while to, like... Wait a second. These are three different characters. I thought it was, the, it was the same character. I'm like, why is the one character being like, we're going out to my dad's place, but also where's my sister? <laughs> like, I yeah, it's just like, is this a bipolar character or is this, like, a different person? Um, and this... What, what else do you say about this movie? Um, it felt like Saw. In a lot of ways. A lot of the yeah. gore was cranked up to be hyper-realistic. There wasn't as much blood, but you could see the... In, in old horror movies, they didn't put so much makeup on the on the wounds themselves. They would do more fake blood, and you know you could see the gash. Yeah. In this one, you see the, the wounds a lot more clearly. The, the violence in this is a little more realistic, in that it's like darker blood, and there's like more of it, and it's not like... In, like, old slasher movies where you'd hit him in the face with an axe and it's just, like, blood everywhere. There's, like, neon red blood goes everywhere. Right. But still, this Which is Which is really a lot more satisfying, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Um, still, it just, it doesn't hit the mark. Because no. it, it's very clearly inspired by Saw and not Friday the 13th. And it's just, it's not a good remake. Because yeah, it's... It doesn't have the same spirit. 
I mean, yeah, it's kind of bland, but not in a way that, like, the others are bland. Because this is, like, late 2000s bland, not 80s bland. Like, honestly, it reminded me a lot of, like, Cabin in the Woods, except Cabin mm -hmm. in the Woods is a parody. Like, if Cabin in the Woods was played straight, it'd be this movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a really good way of describing it. Um... For like the first twenty minutes, we we get involved in these characters. It's like <laughs> yeah. we're gonna we're gonna you know we're gonna get the shame the same old shtick of like oh yeah a bunch of teenagers go into the woods they die you you know the story by now and then it's uh, a remake of the last ten minutes of Friday the Thirteenth one twenty it spends twenty minutes on Friday the Thirteenth two and then most of it on Friday the Thirteenth three yeah it's three movies and. None of them are done well. I mean... It's got the very end of one where, like, Alice kills... And it's shot in black and white to be artsy? Because the 80s was such a long time ago. Yeah. I don't know. It just... It doesn't have the same spirit as, um, yeah. as the other one. It's... It's an odd movie. Because there I are... I don't know how to place it. Yeah. It's like... Well, I mean... They're doing... They're doing stuff that I liked in other films. I just uh -huh. don't like it as much in this one. Yeah, no. That's exactly <laughs> it. Um, I, it feels like a Michael Bay movie in a lot of points. Uh, even uh, though he didn't direct it. And he was only an executive producer. He wasn't a full-on It producer feels like movie. a Michael Bay produced film. Not like how... Ninja Turtles 2 felt like it was a Michael Bay film, even though it wasn't. It feels like one of the Michael Bay produced films. Yeah. Where it's like, well, we gotta meet our quota of violence and tits and stuff, but it's not... It's not stylistically like Michael Bay's films. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's about it. That's, that's about the movie right yeah, there. Yeah, there's not it's... a lot to say about it. Alright, I guess we're, we'll see... Like, it's it's not, like, infuriatingly, like, you're doing so many things from the original wrong, like Halloween was. It's just... Okay, it's another Friday the 13th movie. So, is this the last one? Uh, no, we still have Halloween too. Well, no, I mean, is this the last one to come out? No. Nightmare on Elm Street's gonna be the last one to come out. Okay. Cool. Glad that we could, uh, tease that for you. Have a happy next time. Happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Halloween? Happy, happy Halloween. Silver Shamrock. What a better movie than this piece of shit. Why didn't that get a remake?